Abu Jamal. I'm a journalist, a husband, a father, a grandfather, and an African-American. I was a nerd. My best friends were also nerds. We read comic books like Superman, Batman, The Fantastic Four. We didn't have a lot of things, but we didn't think anybody had them unless you looked on TV and then you saw, you know, outrageous wealth. It was a glorious time to be alive in the 60s, young, 14, 15, 16. Many of my contemporaries were in gangs fighting each other for a turf in the neighborhood. We didn't own a damn brick. And I mean fighting wars. But when it came to fighting the system, oh, I'm not going to do that. Well, damn, what? what's the diff, guys? I remember being pummeled and being beaten to the ground. And uh, I remember looking around and I, I saw a pant leg. It was blue and had a stripe on it. So they told me this was a cop. So doing what I was taught to do all my life, I said, yo, help, police, you know. I remember the guy walking over very briskly and his foot going back, kicking me in the face, kicking me. And uh, I've always said thank you to that cop because uh, he kicked me straight into the Black Panther Party. I didn't know that a year later I'd be one of the founding members of the Black Panther Party in Philadelphia. My job was journalism radical journalism from a black revolutionary perspective, writing about the life that we lived without having it edited by the system. The Black Panther newspaper, at its height of publication when I was working for it, sold over 250,000 newspapers every week all across the United States. The COINTELPRO program was a terroristic program. Its function was to terrorize radicals, revolutionaries, opponents of government programs, and to stigmatize and isolate them from the general population. It was a time of intentional, state-inflicted terror. I was charged with homicide of a police officer in Philadelphia. I was convicted of murder in the first degree and sentenced to death. I am absolutely innocent of the charge I was charged of. I'm absolutely not guilty of the charges I were convicted of. You have the right of association. You have the right of your political beliefs. Well, of course, you have that right, but the government will penalize you, will chase you, will hound you, will frame you, and if they can, they will kill you.